Americans are sick. Over 130 million of us are suffering from chronic disease. was going to go wrong and then the doctor walked out the paper and then the next thing I knew my mom was crying. That's when I knew that um, it wasn't good and that maybe we waited too long. These procedures are a stop gap patch job. They do nothing to treat the cause of the disease. Zero. I didn't want him going through that but yet I didn't know any other way. We all know that what you eat can give you these diseases. But what if you could reverse these diseases with diet too? Is that possible? It's a very, very hard sell. Because what do we got? We've got against us, we've got industry, we've got the government, and sadly, often the medical profession itself. The food and drug industries have a, too much influence at the government level in deciding what the public gets to hear. In 1981, Louise Light developed a nutrition course for the American Red Cross. In it, she cited scientific research that showed a link between certain foods and cancer. I got a call one day from a lobbyist. He asked if he could meet with me. He was coming to town. So I went to the best hotel in Washington on the appointed day. And in the lobby, I met this gentleman. We shook hands. And he says, I have $60,000 in this attache case, and I want to give it to you if you will leave the word cancer out of any mention in the Red Cross course. Interesting that nutrition has got us to that point where we have to be bribed not to tell the truth. I saw what my father went through with his heart disease. I, I just could not get to that point. My children had to come first. I'm trying to break the cycle of cardiovascular disease in my family here. Do you have a good time? <laughs> We're selling sickness right now. We are absolutely selling disease. 